the European Union is very proud to have invested in uh, the past number of years in the education sector in Barbados. In fact, we have, in, we have supported the government to the tune of 140 million uh, Barbadian dollars for the education sector. And part of our support is very much uh, geared towards early learning. And early learning for us is extremely important because studies have shown that if you invest one uh, dollar in early learning, very early learning, you can perhaps save as much as seven dollars later on in remedial teaching, not to mention all other kinds of problems that might arise later in life if the early learning does not work. So we are very keen on this and we are going to make an extra push for early learning in our program and I hope that will benefit schools like, like yours and many others. We uh, are also uh, supporting the Caribbean uh, Dyslexia Center and then the YWCA um, and we also uh, are very much involved in uh, uh, attention deficit, um, hyperactivity disorder and many other issues that are important to screen in the early uh, school years. So, um, let me just end up by saying that we very strongly believe in positive, constructive, early learning. We believe in differentiated learning that starts with a with the position of each child at a given moment and uh, teaches the, the child on, on basis of, of where it stands and what its uh, chances are of improving from one day to the other. I wish I could be half as popular as Zana. And I wish that the sun would be shining on me like it does for Auntie Asia wherever she goes. I just wanted to tell you that uh, I think this story we just heard was brilliant. It was well told and the message was fantastic and you all understood everything and you had the answer to everything. I, I think that was very impressive. Well done. I believe that um, you in this classroom here are very fortunate because you have the opportunity to listen to stories like that with a good message. And that, that is something that I hope you will pay attention to and do more of, because that's very important for you. Not only was the costume brilliant and the story, um, but I think you uh, need to basically get to involve yourself a lot in the world around you. Just like Aisha said, take care of the world and the world takes care of you. That goes for you, but it also goes for your teachers. And Aisha is a very good example of a teacher that really understands the world and can tell you all about it and get you involved in the world. So congratulations for that. I was thinking myself that maybe one day I'm going to bring my wife here. My wife, she's from Jamaica. You know where Jamaica is? And she tells brilliant stories as well. She tells, you know what the best stories are from Jamaica for children? What are they? and Nancy stories. She, I have three children, and she was telling them Nancy stories when they were quite small, so I know all of them. And I'm 100% sure that you would like all of those. So if one day you wanted my wife to come here and tell Nancy stories, I promise you, you'll be in for a treat as well. She might not have a son, but, but, the, uh, but the stories are good, huh? And that's one thing. The other thing is, I, maybe that's too far away, but I come from a country called Denmark. Has anybody heard of that country? There we also have a storyteller. Good. He's called Hans Christian Andersen. Have you ever heard of the Little Mermaid? Have you heard of the Emperor Without Clothes? Have you heard of Simple Simon and the Nightingale? Wow. Okay, so you even know my stories too. So both my wife and I can tell you stories. I'm not as good at telling them as, as Auntie is. But if I were to, to tell you a good story, maybe one day you would promote me to uh, Uncle Miguel. <laughs> and I would really appreciate that.